It's not in order for a woman to have children and not ever be married. That's not in order. For a man to have children and not marry, that's not in order. Read. And we'll prove thy people. So then once you get your life together, then correct your people. Raise them up. Y'all are comfortable in this dead estate, man. Read. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. We can't comfort nobody in the community. Right. How you gonna comfort somebody going through something and you the one putting them through it? Ain't no way in the world. Read So listen, so listen, did y'all go over the witness with him? No. Y'all did? Y'all went over being witnesses at Isaiah 43? Yes, All praise. Yes. So, all praise the most high. So I know, so we're going to read a couple of more scriptures for you. Matter of fact, so yes. Do you, so do you know how to keep the Sabbath? Y'all went over the Sabbath? Good. So now, do you know how to keep the Sabbath day? Do you understand? Yeah. I heard about that. Okay, you heard about it. Do you know what to do? Okay, so you can start doing that starting tonight. And we're going to read it. Let's get it in Exodus 20. You know, let's see. Because our people, instead of doing idolatry and doing Jehovah's Witness, because that is not a witness of God at all. Because remember, it says, ye are my witnesses. Y'all went over the chosen as well? All praise. So they read that to you earlier. So you know the chosen is only the Israelites. But ain't in Jehovah's Witness only? But ain't all the other nations and stuff in Jehovah's Witness too? And all of the other races, aren't they allowed to be in the Jehovah's Witness as well? But they're not the chosen. They can't be the witnesses. Yeah, well, I was saying earlier, earlier, about what he said. Y'all lost the Israelite people? No, we lost the blessings. The blessings of Israelite. It says we lost the blessing of Israelite. You're right, because we're under a curse now. This is what we're under now. This is the curse we're under. But we ain't lost the blessing. Watch this right here. Let's get that. Uh, let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 1. Let's see, I'm about to head out, man. Yes, sir. Listen while you go on. Let me hear, let me hear this last one, though. Yeah. Because remember, it's, you said that we're going to miss the blessing. Let's see what will happen when we come back to doing what God said. Because they said, oh, we missed it, and so we don't get to get it back again. God's promises are forever. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 1. And it's that. Oh, wait, now you said yes, sir. Because you understand that God's promises are forever. So what he said is what it's going to be, right? So they say, oh, Israel lost the promise. And Jehovah's Witness, they say Israel lost the promise forever. No, no. We, no How do we get it back? No. Yeah, we believe that. Y'all believe that or whatever. No, not y'all. You too. You and Israel. Yeah, I believe that. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, that's why I want to find out truth. You know, oh, praise you. Read that. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. when all these things are upon thee. The blessing and the curse. So when these things come up on us, the blessing and the curse. So at one point, we was ruling the world. David, King David, and King Solomon ruled the world. Now we're under the curse. We're under all the nations because of sin. And we're continuing to sin in all these different religions. Read on. Which I have set before thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt call them to mind among all what the nations. What we're going to do, we're going to call those sins, and the, we're going to call the blessing and the curse to mind. That's what we're doing now, calling it to your mind. Reminding you about who you are, just like we was reminded about who we was. Read. Whether the Lord thy God have, have driven thee. Just like we've been driven into these other lands as slaves. Read on. It shall return unto the Lord thy God. And we're going to repent. We're going to repent, Elijah. It said we're going to return, meaning repent. Now watch this. Read. It shall obey his voice. And we're going to obey. Watch yourself. Go ahead. According to all that I command thee this day. Uh-huh. Thou and thy children, not only us, but our kids, are going to do it. Ain't going to be no kids rapping, singing uh, uh, whole field songs. Ain't going to be all the sons out here rapping whole guns at, at a young age. No, they're going to be rapping about what the Bible says. Right. Read on. With all thine heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. With everything we got, read. That, that then the Lord thy God. Then. It said that then. Read on. The Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. He's going to flip it. We ain't gonna be on the bottom no more. We ain't gonna be on the bottom no more. Now, all the nations above us, we rule them. But it said, oh, Israel lost the promise. But this ain't talking about everybody get to heaven. Because if we're on the bottom, 
and everybody is above us, right? That would mean all those races that's in the Jehovah's Witness and stuff like that, that all mixed in there together, they all going into slavery. That's right. Every single one of them. Right. So how are they Jehovah's Witnesses? They're not you all. Right. That's why ain't no other nation included in the Bible of being saved. Not only us. That's it. Not one single other nation outside of Israel can be saved, bro. Not one. Matter of fact, let's get that in Revelation. Revelations uh, 10, uh, 13, 10. Let me read that. How you doing, sis? Who we got right here? You got questions? Watch this right here. Watch this right here. Watch this one thing right here. Read it for me real, real fast. Revelations chapter 13. Verse 10. Read look, look, this is our judge. This, this is our reward if we keep the commandments. Watch this right here. He that leadeth into captivity. Was we not led into captivity? We was led into slavery, right? By a bunch of different races of people. White, Chinese, Japanese, don't matter, right? Watch this. He that leadeth us into captivity. Read on. So go into captivity. That's their judgment and our reward. Right. That's we right. get to be on top. So instead of you seeing our neighborhoods and what you see now, now it's going to be streets of gold. That's right. And they going to build it. The same way they made us build America, we going to make them build our kingdom. That's right. right. Read on. He that killed us with the sword. Because they killed us with the sword. They still killing us now. Putting their knee on our neck, gunning us down in the back. Read. Must be killed with the sword. We going to kill them with the sword. Right. Right. Nobody reads that out of the Bible. Say what now? Nobody reads that out of the Bible, bruh. Nobody. Everybody get that feel-good nonsense in church. But if you read the Bible, the Bible says the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're going to rule the world. Right. You're going to rule over every nation. Let's get that in uh, uh, Revelation 2. Right. And, uh, what is it? At the end of the verse? At the end of the chapter? 20? Yeah, let's read that. Revelation chapter 2, verse 26. Read. And he that overcometh. And keep it my word. So he that overcomes. So if we overcome this captivity, overcome our sins, overcome all of the nonsense that this world throw at you, the porn, the damn idolatry, your Mother's Day, your Father's Day, your wicked ass Easter, read. That's right. Unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation. So if we endure this captivity and repent, we get to rule over the nations. Read. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And we ain't going to just rule them nicely. We're going to force them to do what God said. Yeah. Read on. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. And we're going to break everybody that don't bow the knee. We're going to make them bow down. That's but our right. people love it in slavery. We love it here. We stay in the midst of sin. We stay drunk on drugs. High. Prostitution, all kinds of nonsense, going against God. Read, even as I receive of my Father. So the same gift that Christ gets, we the earns with him. That's right. We get the same thing, rule over the nation. Right. But if y'all don't feel that way about yourselves, you will stay at the bottom. We'll stay in this slavery and we will die here because bombs are being prepared to come here. That's all right. these white people going to fight against each other. They got nuclear bombs pointing at this place. Right. How you gonna get out? You can't. That's why we stay in the same condition we in because we follow after other nations. Right. We wasn't taught, we was taught to be whoremongers in slavery. That's why you get your bucks. That's why you get the mainland with this woman, that woman, that woman. We have a slave mentality. We repeat it over and over and over. Why won't we stop doing that? Read. Is that it? Yes, sir. Now let's go to uh, let's go to Hosea four. Hosea four and two. Sir, bring it out. Hosea chapter four, verse two. Read. By swearing and lying. Step up to one. Yes, sir. Hosea chapter four, verse one. Uh huh. Hear the word of of the Lord. It says, "Hear the word of the Lord." Listen to the Bible. Read. Ye children of Israel. Uh huh. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. It said God has a controversy. He has an issue with his people. God has a problem with how we live in. Read. Because there is no truth nor mercy. Because we have no truth and there is no mercy. 
we will gun each other down in the street. We have no mercy. We'll sell drugs to each other. We have no mercy. We'll prostitute one another. We have no mercy. Read. Nor knowledge of God in the land. We don't have no knowledge of God in the land. Mother's Day ain't got nothing to do with God. Right. Easter ain't got nothing to do with God. Right. Christmas don't got nothing to do with God. Right. Read. By swearing and lying. And all our people do is swear and lie. I swear for God. I put that on my mama now. Bring it up. That's how we talk. And then don't do nothing. Right. The white man can come in the neighborhood, wipe everybody out, leave. All we going to do is march. Right. All we going to do is march. Versus the only way we get out is do what God said. Read. And killing and stealing. And all our people do is kill each other. That's what the gangs are doing. Right. We steal from each other. That's what the gangs are doing. Right. Going and hitting licks, robbing each other, left and right. Read. And committing adultery. And all our people do. Look, look we, have, we have more babies outside of wedlock than any race. Right. We have more babies outside of wedlock than any race. Right. God says that's what his people would be doing in a sin. Right. Read. They break out and blood touches blood. And blood touches blood. Black on black crime. Read. Therefore shall the land mourn. It said the land is going to mourn. That's why we get high. That's why our people get drunk. Y'all thinking y'all going to get rid of all that pain by trying to get it away by putting toxic in your body. Right. It's not going to help. It's killing you even faster. Read. And everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish. And everybody that is caught in that lifestyle is going to be burned to death. Right. Right. That's what's going to happen to us. Now jump down to verse 6. Verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And that's what God said. If you don't think you destroyed as a race and you call yourself African American, you destroyed. That's right. You say you a uh, uh, Mexican, you destroyed. Right. You say you a uh, Indian, you destroyed. Right. Cause that ain't what God called you. He called you the real Jews, the Israelites. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because we reject God. Read. I will also reject thee. God said He's gonna reject us. That's why he don't hear none of your prayers. Not one. He don't hear no prayers in the black community where there's killing and robbing going on. What? Read. That thou shalt be no priest to me. We ain't no priest to God. Read. See, thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. So because we forgot the laws of God, read. I will also forget thy children. God has forgotten our children. Right. We are grown men and women out here. And y'all are supposed to be keeping the laws so your kids don't be forgotten. Right. But we are okay with our kids repeating the steps over and over again. Yes. Give me 2nd Ezra 1413. Bring it out. 2nd Ezra 1413. Get that. Is that Second, what I want? Get your house in order? Read that. Yep. 2nd Ezra chapter 14, verse 13. Read. No. Now therefore. Set thine house in order. God says, get your house in order. Right. Being out at single parent homes, it's not in order. Right. That's not in order. For a woman to have children and not ever be married, that's not in order. Right. For a man to have children and not marry, that's not in order. Right. Read. And reprove thy people. So then once you get your life together, then correct your people. Raise them up. Y'all are comfortable in his dead estate, man. Read. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. We can't comfort nobody in the community. Right. How you gonna comfort somebody going through something and you the one putting them through it? Ain't nowhere in the world. Read on. And now renounce corruption. It says renounce corruption. Flee corruption. Get away from sin. Read. Let go from thee, mortal thoughts. Let go of those mortal thoughts we don't. Cast away the burdens of man. And cast away the burdens of this place. Everybody want to be a part of this place. Right. And that's why we die in this place. Right. Read. Put off now the weak nature. It said put off the weak nature. 
we are weak. We are falling to a weak estate. Every nation do what they want to do to us. And we're stronger than them, faster than them. We're better. Read. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. Put away those heavy thoughts. You're better than everybody on the planet, and you don't live like it. Read. And haste thee to flee from these times. Read. Is that it? Yes, sir. And that's what we got to do. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.